Good evening. Good evening. Merry Christmas. Well, I appreciate everyone uh, being willing to come out on a Sunday evening. Uh, we are here to celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, we've had some colds lately, so the first song, Zach said his, his voice was good, but not for that first song. So we're going to start a uh, um, um, congregational singing. But, like I said, we're here to celebrate the incarnation of Jesus. In the Old Testament, we were given certain glimpses of one who would come. And I want to read a few verses before we start. Back after the fall, in Genesis chapter 3, starting in verse 14, it says, The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you more than all the cattle, and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you will go, and dust you will eat all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise your, you on the head, and you shall bruise him on the heel. And then as we go further, we get a bigger picture. Genesis 15, God talking to Abram. It says, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision, saying, Do not fear, Abram. I am a shield to you. Your reward shall be very great. Abram said, O Lord, God, what will you give me since I am childless? And the heir of my house is Eleazar of Damascus. And Abram said, Since you have given me no offspring to me, one born in my house is my heir. Then behold, the word of the Lord came to him, saying, this man will not be your heir, but one who will come forth from your own body. He shall be your heir. And he took him outside and said, Now look to the heavens and count the stars, if you're able to count them. And he said to him, So shall your descendants be. Then he believed in the Lord, and he reckoned to him as righteousness. And then as we go further, we go to the glorious passage in Isaiah 9. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. There will be no end to the increase of his government or of peace on the throne of David and over his kingdom, to establish it and uphold it with justice and righteousness. From then on and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will accomplish this. And we get to the New Testament and the coming of Christ. And Paul, looking back on it, said in Galatians 4, But when the fullness of time came, God sent forth his Son, born of a woman, born under the law, why? So that he might redeem those who were under the law, that we might receive adoption as sons. Jesus came. Jesus took on flesh so that we could be redeemed. The Word became flesh and dwelt with us. He became the Lamb of God who took the sins of the world, and now we are able to look back and rejoice on those glorious truths. Tonight we will sing with joy those wonderful truths. Will you please pray with me, and then we will sing. Father, we thank you for your faithfulness to your people. You have promised one who would come, and he came. Not only did he come, but he became a sacrifice on our behalf. He bore your wrath, fully satisfying you, and, and then rose from the dead, displaying your power and glory, and sits at the right hand, interceding for us even now. And in these truths, we greatly rejoice. It is a privilege to be your children. And tonight, we honor all that you've done for us. Be with us as we sing tonight, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's make a joyful noise to the Lord. Good Christian men.
joy to the world. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. Amen. Amen. You're dismissed.